For this stem bite, it's time for a snack. At snack time today, I've been wondering about DNA. Normally when I think about DNA, I think about things that are alive. Cows and sheep and people and kids. But I was thinking about it more, you know, everything that's ever been alive is made up of cells. And all cells have DNA in them. So when I started thinking, what around me has DNA in it? I mean, this pretzel. Does this pretzel have DNA in it? Well, let me think. I mean, it's got salt and wheat and, well, wheat used to grow out of the ground, so yeah, I think it does. How about this table? Does this table have DNA in it? It's made up of metal. Metal's never been alive, so no, the table doesn't have DNA. But what about my deck? My deck's made up of wood, wood cells, so my deck has DNA in it. That's crazy. The deck has DNA. Flowers? DNA. Apples? DNA. Peanut butter? DNA. Even these books have DNA in them. Does Dr. Pepper have DNA in it? I don't taste any DNA. High fructose corn syrup. I think that qualifies as DNA. Perhaps one of the most interesting things to think about is rocks. For the most part, you wouldn't think of rocks as having DNA. Sandstone, for example, is sand that's been compressed together so hard that it turns into rock. But some forms of rock are actually made out of former living things. So even rock and the things made of rock can even have DNA in them. Kind of makes DNA seem a little more normal, you know? Stand by.